Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be a little bit of a different one. My husband picked out this yarn. He, we went to uh, Joanne's or Michael's, I don't remember which one. But they had this yarn. It is Natural Marl by Loops and Threads. in the color Winter Blues. He picked it up and he said, you know, I really like this color and the way the yarn feels. Could you make me a hat out of it? And I said, yes, dear, I will make you a hat and scarf set and I'll make it a whole tutorial. It's going to be great. So <laughs> it's, that's where this tutorial come from, comes from. So this is my men's hat and scarf set. It's very easy. You need two skeins of any four weight, pretty much. This is... Uh, Da, da, da. Where is the content? Oh, 69 polyester, 22% acrylic, and 9% wool. But you can use any four weight yarn you want. And then um, your six millimeter hook. I have my 5.5 here because I accidentally grabbed the wrong one. And that's it. Um, and a tape measure. I'm sorry. You're going to need a tape measure. And definitely the head of the person you're going to be making this for because we're going to make it specifically to that person's head. Meaning the length of the hat, the length of the hat, and the width of the hat. Okay? So you're going to need a tape measure and I think that's it now. So I do want to mention in, the vi er, in this intro, I do apologize. I have a band-aid on my thumb because uh, my cat Church, he got a hold of me just at the perfect timing and got a good scratch down my thumb. And then also towards the end of the video, I uh, clipped my fingernails too short and I have these, I have the little bitty sores. Like I have one, two right there and one right there. So I tried to like keep it out of the video so you don't see it too much, but man, does that hurt. If you guys ever clipped your fingernails too short, <gasps> made me a, makes me turn into a baby. That, <laughs> that hurts. Okay. Anyway, so enough said, all right, get your supplies together and let's get started. All right, so to get started, we need to figure out the measurements that we need to make or the measurements we need so we have an idea of what we need to work for the hat and scarf set, right? All right, so I have my mannequin Deb here. So I need to pull you guys out just a tad. All right, what you need to do is you need to take your head, <laughs> take the head of the person that you're making the hat for, and you're going to go up the bridge of the nose don't follow her hair line up the bridge of the nose and go right to the tip top of the head. Okay. So measure from here past the ear, just a tad bit past the ear. Okay. So that is how you're going to get the, uh, the length of the hat or that we're going to work. Okay. So if I pull my, keep my finger there, take my tape measure, go from right to the top of the head, just past the ear. So it's about eight inches. So I would go with eight and a half inches. Okay. Or well, no, because it's going to have a little bit of a give. Just stick with that eight inches. Okay. So if I put it over her hair, yeah. So I'm going to go with eight inches for her head. Now to measure the circumference, I'm going to set my tape measure right along the, like follow her, the bridge of her nose up and I'm going to set it right there, wrap around her head. Now, if, the, if you're making this for a woman or a long haired man, make, make sure you get their uh, hair in there too. Okay. So I'm bring that around. I'm going to go about 21 inches. Okay, so write those numbers down. I've got eight and a half or eight inches by 21. Now here's the thing. When you're, we all know working with yarn, yarn has a stretch to it, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to work half an inch shy of what the length is. So from the top of the head to here, we had eight inches, right? So just work that at seven and a half. Her eyelash is coming off. Oh no, I'll have to fix that. Um, seven and a half. And then, so f I'm trying to think of how to explain this. The best way to do 
the the to work the pattern with as the circumference of the hat head is to work a length that's so long work it work it work it and then stop hold it together and then try it on because the yarn is going to have and this is for my husband not for her but the yarn is going to have so much of a give you know working around we don't want it too loose or too tight right so my husband's head measures 22 inches around. So what I did was I worked this until it's about 17 and a half. And I, I didn't work it uh, according to measurements. I just worked the pattern repeat. And then I'd stop and I'd bring it together and I'd hold it and I'd put it on his head. Actually, I think I slip stitched it up and then put it on his head. And I like the way, you know, it set on his head. So... Even though, yes, we did take the measurement of the circumference of the head, that's, to, that's a guide to kind of help us, you know, with working the piece because it's going to have a little bit of a give to it anyway. So if, you, you know, you look, I can get that to stretch to 22 inches. But that's how you're going to get the, the size of what you need to work for the hat, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to chain a length like I said, that's about a half inch shorter than uh, what we measured for the head. So I, I said eight, so I would work mine to about seven and a half. And for the pattern, let me get you guys moved in. Just like that. All right, we are going to get a slip knot on our hook, and then you just chain that length that you need. So I've already got my main piece done, so I'm just going to do a little practice. Oops, tangled up. Not a practice. <laughs> just do a little swatch for you guys, okay? So chain your length. It's a half inch shorter than what you need for the head size, okay? So once you get your chain done, we're going to start by single crocheting in the second chain from hook and single crochet into each chain or each remaining chain. Okay. And then for the repeat row, chain one and turn, and you're going to back loop half double into each single crochet across. So back loop into that very first one and then back loop into each of the remaining singles. Two more to work into. And there's the last one. All right. So we're just going to repeat that. Chain one, turn, back loop half double into each half double across and that's what you're going to repeat until you get a nice length or the length that you need so like I said remember you know you're just going to have to try it on the head or leave it just a tad bit shy of the actual uh, length that you need for the circumference and then you know give your piece a tug to get it to that length okay so that's what you're going to repeat and repeat until you get the size you need to go around the head. And once you have that, we are going to work that last back loop half double, chain one, pull up a loop, and then we are going to cut. <clears throat> Just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to weave in these ends because I'm not going to use these to sew the, the hat together. But what we're going to do is we're going to whip stitch these two ends together. Just bring our two ends and we're going to whip stitch that up, okay? So I need a needle. All right, I'm going to get these ends weaved in and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my ends weaved in. 
Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out a piece that's, oh, I'd say a good two and a half feet. It's probably gonna be too much, but that's all right. <clears throat> I'm gonna get that threaded on my needle. I'm gonna bring my two ends together and I'm just gonna start whip stitching this closed. Just like this. Get that tail out of the way. And I'm not I'm not telling you guys to go specifically through stitches or anything, only because with this yarn, it's a little tough to see. <laughs> so if you mess up at all, it's not gonna be a big deal. Um just do the best you can. And this yarn is very sticky to itself. So I'm trying my best to not mess this up. Oh, Deb hair. <laughs> All right, so this is what we are going to work all the way up the seam, okay? So I'm gonna finish this off camera and I'll come back when we get to this end. Okay, so I'm coming to the end right here. Make sure I catch all of these stitches. Now I'm just going where, wherever I can get my needle in. Okay, so, why does that, oh, that's, okay. There we have it sewn together, and it's a nice seam. You can't really see it on the reverse, but what we're gonna do now, since I have such a long strand left, I'm gonna go ahead and just call this the top of my hat. If you don't have enough, just weave in what you have and then get you another long strand, okay? But what we're gonna do is we are going to go all the way around the top and then just weave in and out, in and out. I'm not skipping anything specific, any, uh, you know, certain strands, skipping, you know, so many stitches at once, I'm just weaving it in and out. Now, keep in mind, you don't want to go, you know, we came from here, you don't want to jump all the way over here. Just, you know, keep, consistently keep them a good length from each other. And I'm just going in and out, in and out. That's what makes this hat so easy. It's you, Yes, granted, you can mess it up, but I mean, it's easy to fix. So, like, for instance, while I'm doing this, I'll just go ahead and talk to... I didn't like that. Talk to you guys about this. So, let's say your hat is a little too short, meaning from the top of the head to the below the ear. It's super easy to fix. All we have to do is just add a row of double crochet around, or I mean half doubles, around the, uh, the, the, for the brim. And let's say it's too long. Well, let's go ahead and do that same thing. Add a, a half double crochet brim and add it a little bit longer and then just fold it up. So, I mean, it's, it's, that's what I love about this hat. It's so easy. If, you know, if something doesn't measure right, it's perfectly easy to fix. That's why I, you know, I wanted to stress that working the length for the circumference around the head, you want to keep checking as you go because it could, did I make it all the way around? No. Because it, uh, you know, working it shorter rather than longer is a lot easier than working it too long. And then always having the head there 
that you're making the hat for just to test out. Okay, so I think I've made it all the way around now to test out, you know, the size. All right, so once you've made it all the way around, I'm going to push this to the inside and then flip the hat inside out. Or well, I should say right side out because this is the right side of the hat now. So there's my beginning tail. So I ain't going to worry about that. But what we're going to do now, oh, excuse me. So we're going to pull this tight, pull it closed. Now be careful because you can snap your yard. <laughs> Done that a million times. It's a pain in the butt. Okay. So once you get that, actually, I'm going to put that back inside and flip it back right side out. Okay, so once you get that pulled nice and tight, all I'm going to do is just start sewing it around that hole. This kind of like a button, like you'd sew a button on. I'm going to go this way and then this way just to keep that hole closed. I'm just catching stitches on each side. I'm not paying attention. Well, I shouldn't say that I'm not paying attention. I'm paying attention, but I'm just not putting much effort into knowing exactly where the hole it is. What am I trying to say? I don't know. I'm just sewing back and forth across the top of the hole to keep the hole shut. Okay, so when we turn it back out, if I look... My hole is closed. I can see a piece right here that I want to catch. So I'm going to push it through with my finger. There we go. Just like that. So if I push that through and I can see my finger right there. You guys can't see it. Dang it. But that's where that hole is that I want to catch. Alright, so now... I'm going to just run this through some stitches and I'm going to leave a loop, put my needle through that loop and then pull tight and then I'm going to do it again to double knot that. Oops, I pulled my needle right off of it. All right, so that is knotted. So now I can weave in this end. I'm just going to go through some spaces. Just like that. And cut. And then go ahead and weave in this tail. I'm going to take it to the inside of the hat. Right through there. Okay. That. All right, and there is our hat. Ta -da. Okay, so now let's say it's too it's too short. All you have to do is take your yarn, and I can tell right there is the back of my hat. But if you can't tell, then it doesn't matter. <laughs> but just attach your yarn anywhere you want to, and work half double crochets around. And you can work as many rows as you need for the length. And let's say the hat's too long. Well, go ahead and add that same border and then just flip it up. Just like that. So my husband's actually not here right now. So I'm going to have to put my hat to the side and uh, try it on his head and see how it fits him when he gets home. But in the meantime, we are going to work our scarf. So the scarf is super easy. We are simply just going to 
get a slip knot on our six millimeter hook and we're going to chain 30. I already have my scarf done, so I'm just going to do a little sample here. My heater kicked on if you guys heard that. All right. And now what we're going to do is double crochet into the third chain from our hook. So there's one, two, three, double crochet right into that chain and double crochet into each of the remaining chains. And one more. Okay, so chain one and turn. And then for the entirety of the scarf, you're gonna repeat this row. Back loop, double crochet in the very first double and back loop, double crochet into each of the remaining doubles. And then of course the chains that we skipped at the beginning, that counts as a double also. So we're gonna go ahead and just double crochet in there. You don't have to work, focus on trying to get a back loop, just double crochet into it, okay? All right, so just repeat that. Chain one, turn, back loop double into each double crochet. Now you can, oops, you can repeat this until your scarf measures 70 inches that's what I did for mine. Or, I mean, depending on whoever you're making this for, if they want a super long scarf. Um, anyway, so uh, hold on, just, <laughs> I lost my, I'm jumping from topic to topic, sorry. All right, so you just repeat that. Chain one, back loop double all the way across. Chain one, turn, back loop double all the way across. Just repeat that until you get the scarf length that you would like. Now, um, like I was saying about the length, I, my husband likes, doesn't like a super, super long scarf. So what I did was I actually got online and I Googled, you know, what is the average length of a scarf? You know, what is the, the, per the perfect length for a scarf for a man? And it's seven inches. So seven inches wide by 70 inches long. And I made this one and he, he likes that length. So if you want to, you can make yours 70 inches long or use up what you have left in your uh, skein, which is going to be way more than 70 inches, but the person you're making for may like it that long. So once you get the length that you need, we are going to work that last double. Yep. Last back loop double chain one and cut and weave in all of these ends. So I'm going to get these weaved in real quick. But like I said, my husband's not here right now, so I can't try the hat on his head yet to see if I need to work a brim or not, or if he likes the length. Just by... I didn't want to go through there. Just by looking at it, I think it's going to fit his head pretty well. If you guys ever notice whenever I'm doing something on camera, like weaving in my ends or trying to double crochet down or trying to crochet down a chain or anything like that, I can't talk at the same time. I don't know why that I cannot talk and do what I'm trying to do at the same time. It's like I can't chew gum and walk at the same time. <laughs> Don't tell my husband I said that because he'd die laughing saying it, how true it is. <laughs> anyway, I am going to get these done. But the point of me saying that was I don't know why I, I'm like that, but I can't. Like right now, I'm struggling to talk and do that at the same time. Are you guys like that? Do you guys struggle with talking and trying to do this at the same time? <laughs> right through the legs. This is a very pretty blue. Oh, 
Okay. Cut. And there is, uh oh, did I, nope. There is our scarf. Oh, I sh well, I was going to say I could have put fringe on each uh, each end of the scarf, but I don't think my husband would like fringe. Plus, this yarn is has too much of a halo to it, so it wouldn't make a very nice, very nice fringe. Okay, so I am going to stop my tutorial here, and I'm not going to finish it until my husband gets home so I can put this hat on his head and see we're going to go from there, okay? So, if you guys just want to hang on for just a second, <laughs> I will be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Now, I tried this hat on my husband and it fits him great. Um, I'm going to insert a picture here. He'd only let me take a side profile picture you know, he, and he's in the garage. So, it's his little man cave and I had to beg him to stand up and turn sideways <laughs> so I could take pictures of it. But... Okay, so I'll insert a picture here so you guys can see how it looked on him. Okay, so I will say I think I should have made the scarf a little longer. Um, my husband has a really big beard and a lot of hair, like head hair, and uh, I think 70 might be enough for you guys. I, I honestly, I'd just say try it on whoever you know is going to be wearing it. I'll probably just go ahead and finish off one of the skeins I have and make it super long. Um, will he ever wear it? I kind of doubt it, but he will the hat. He he loves the hat, the scarf, meh, but that's okay. I kind of expected that to happen. <laughs> anyway, so um, I want to go ahead and show you guys if you want to add some length to your hat by adding a brim, all you need to do... I don't know where I put my hook at. It's been a couple of days since I filmed this, uh, or I filmed the other part. And the reason being is because after I filmed the first part, I ended up uh, clipping my fingernails and I clipped them way too short. And if you guys have ever done that, oh man, that hurts. So I didn't crochet for a few days and I still have like on my thumb right there a little bit of a red spot and my pointer finger is still a little tender. Uh, lesson learned. Anyway, so I'm not 100% sure what hook I was using, but what I have here is just my 5.5. And all I'm going to do is get a slip knot on my hook and I'm just going to attach somewhere. Where I goes, not a big deal. Chain one and I'm going to work half double crochets evenly spaced all the way around. Just like this. I'm just going where I can get my hook in at. And then after you work so many of them, just stop and look at it. If it's bunching up like this, too many. You need to take a couple out. But if it's looking just like that, nice and straight and even, it's perfect. Okay. And then just slip stitch to your first, chain one, do another round. Slip stitch to, or I mean, double, uh, half double all the way around. Slip stitch to your first, do another round. And then stop and see, you know, does it, is it a good length? Does it fit the head good? Or, you know, do you want it to go longer so you can fold it up a bit? It's just, it's totally up to you guys. Okay, that's it for today. I am going to get off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Nothing special. Just, I bought this yarn and my husband asked for a hat and scarf. At, well, not a scarf, but for a hat out of it. <laughs> and I thought, this is going to be a perfect little little opportunity for a men's set. So, <laughs> that's where this tutorial came from. So, alright guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hit that thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss anything that I'm going to be putting out soon. And I've got some adorable stuff coming in. I'm super, super excited about it. So, make sure you subscribe. And... Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think, okay? All right, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Bye.